Yeah. Easily. Yeah. That's, <laughs> what, we were, that's what I was expecting. Yeah. He was... Uh, He's that much better. Yeah, he went into the race strong. He, uh, he John Louis Arsenault, uh, we were in John Louis' barn there, and, and the, like, the horse just was very happy there, and he was, he was content, and he was comfortable, and he was, he was strong. And, and like I say, we had a good look at the competition by this time, and, and I, I didn't feel it was... Uh, you know, you're going for a million dollars, you're always nervous, and anything can happen. On the gate for the million dollar final of the Metro Pace. Ten of them on the gate, here they come. They're often pacing in Austin. field our long shots shadow play weekend gambler and it's that time so up the back stretch mcdonnell has got them all in the palm of his hand as some beach somewhere fire to the front he leads by two lengths as the field nears the half pocket riding is santana blue chip up and at it third campbell calls on the undefeated Deuce sealster to do the first over road work through a 54 and two first half 27 and four in the second quarter for some beach somewhere who wheels the field towards the far turn all over mcdonnell's helmet and shoulder there is santana blue chip in the pocket spot Overland from in third is Deuce Sealster. He hasn't paced a forward step just yet. In at the rail from in fourth. Traffic troubles at this point for Moonbeam. Sears will need some racing luck. And the luck comes in the form of McDonnell stepping on the accelerator. Jameson is a clear second with Santana Blue Chip. Sears is going to find that room now with Moonbeam from third as Deuce Sealster is backed abruptly through the field. Dally fires wide off cover. Three quarter station in an unbelievable 121 and four. And it's some beach somewhere putting up some kind of fractions. He leads by two now three coming off the turn late pace from moonbeam and santana blue chip some beach somewhere 16th to go moonbeam not going to catch him some beach somewhere and big mac scoop up the big bucks to win the metro pace he won by two lengths and he's home in 149 and three a world record performance in the final of the metro pace some beach somewhere the fastest two-year-old pacing colt there ever was dreams really do come true you just got to believe it's a dream that none of the owners will ever forget. I think that, that um, they see it as a horse was trained in Nova Scotia by uh, a car dealer. Um, you know, and uh, anybody has a shot. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, and and, and that's, that's the truth. Yeah. Um, they believe that, hey, if it can be done in Truro, it can be done in Charlottetown, and it can be done in Inverness. And, and you know, if they get to some beach somewhere and they don't get excited, and have patience, it can be done there too. Some Beach Somewhere went on to finish a perfect six for six season by winning two more races, the Champlain Stakes in 151 even and the Nasa Goya Stakes in 151 and four. That was enough. He had nothing left to prove as a two-year-old. It was time to go back home to Nova Scotia. The green grass and rest at Picto's Pictonian Farms awaited. But to have a world champion right in Truro uh, is it's, it's quite a quite a feat. I mean, this horse is the fastest two-year-old who ever lived, and uh, I don't know how much better he's going to be at three. But I I predict he should have a pretty good season. But he's a champion. He looks the part. He's a handsome horse. Every once in a while, I guess God makes a perfect horse, and this one ended up in Truro, Nova Scotia. And in the United States, this horse is really recognized as a fabulous horse. They compare him to Niatras, who was a great horse about 20 years ago, and uh, th the fact that uh, some beach somewhere was voted the U.S. two-year-old pacing coal of the year and the Dan Patch Award winner, he never even stepped on American soil, but that's how much the Americans thought of him. Some beach somewhere also won top honors in the Canadian standard bred ranks. He captured the O'Brien Award as the two-year-old pacing coal of the year, and he was a co-winner along with Tell All as the top horse in Canada. Truro's world champion, some beach, somewhere. The money f starting off was interesting, and but now it's just being a part of it, being a part of history. We've we've set a world record uh, last year. I think this horse is going to go down in history, and to be a part of that, it's it's unbelievable. Man, it's going to be a heck of a ride attending those races all over North America next year and seeing what this horse can do. And I know it sounds like. It sounds like Brent McGrath making a bragging statement here, but this horse will 
We will be very, very surprised if this horse doesn't break the world record by quite a bit this year, and that's a pretty bold statement to make, but the horse is big and strong and spirited, and there's never been a darn thing wrong with him at all. The exciting ride is still to come this year, I think. My, my most exciting moment last year was definitely winning the Metro Pace. I mean, uh, after, after winning that race and being among all your peers, usually you're going to see you're going to see all, the, all the, the, the known trainer year after year always winning the same race. And you're going to see uh, the same owners winning that same race all the time. People with lots of money that comes and buy these horses like, like they tried to buy it from us early on. Uh, that was a pretty exciting moment. I think we spent about 45 minutes in the winner's circle, which usually you're going to win the race and you're, you're going to spend about two or three minutes in the winner's circle, if that. Being at, I was at three of the races, and I think yes, I'm a pretty laid back guy, so I don't get too excited about much, but it was pretty exciting to be there and see him win. The Champlain Stakes, I thought, was an awesome race for Beach. Two lengths now, back in second, towards the inside is up front, Hannah's boy. Jameson launches a late attack on the outside. He was, uh, I thought he was just in a league of his own that night. Some beach somewhere, a perfect five for five, 26 seconds on the end of it. He's home in 151, and that is a Champlain Stakes record. If Reg uh, or, or any of the group had not seen this horse since his last race, they wouldn't recognize him today in his stall because of the size of him, just the, just the power that he's put on, the muscle that he's put on. You know, if I could have crafted the horse with a, with a, a chisel, I couldn't have made him into a better looking horse than he is now. So really, for me, the most exciting thing is every time I take the blanket off him every day and put a harness on him and just see how he's developing. And, you know, there's no question in my mind how strong this horse is this year compared to last year. He's, he's not the same horse at all. Nothing about him is the same.